Okay students, in this video I'd like to start talking about the SI system or the metric system. Another term for the metric system is the SI system. It's an abbreviation for Système International. In French that means the international system. We call it the SI system of units and important conversions that we need to know. So you have already gone over the metric system. I know that you've seen this probably multiple times. If you grew up in a country outside of the United States, then you're much more familiar with this than uh, most U.S. Americans because you already use meters, kilograms, liters uh, for your units of measurement. However, it's important that we understand uh, here in the U.S., we understand how to convert between SI or metric system units between one and the other and between what's called standard or imperial because it comes from the uh, England or the English system how, how to convert between these imperial units like uh, pounds and so forth into metric units as well so first of all I want to make sure that we understand that there are four one two three four there are four units that are the base units in the metric system for length it's the meter with the lowercase m for mass it's the kilogram lowercase kg for volume it's the liter and that's a capital L seconds it's s sometimes you'll see seconds abbreviated sec but s is just the uh, is the appropriate metric or si abbreviation now here we get into inches, pounds, and gallons. These are imperial measurements. One inch equals 2.54 centimeters. Now back in my day, when I was in college back in the 80s, 1980s, this was an approximate measurement. So an inch was, an approximately, it was approximately 2.54 centimeters. And so we had to consider how many sig figs were in that conversion. That is not the case anymore. In the interim, in the last 30 years, this has become a defined value. So an inch is now defined exactly as 2.54 centimeters. So this is now an exact number and it does not limit our calculations for sig figs. Pounds, there's a pound to kilogram conversion. 2.205 pounds equals one kilogram. Another one that is uh, related to this is one pound equals 454 grams. You can learn either of those and they will help you convert between the imperial pound into the metric, either kilograms or grams. I'd like to mention briefly, it, it's not 100% accurate to say that we can uh, convert between pounds and kilograms. A pound is a measurement of weight. That, that is fundamentally how much attraction it has within a certain gravitational field, specifically in the gravitational field of our planet Earth. A kilogram is a measurement of mass. So while I weigh 172 pounds here on the planet Earth, my pounds would be rather less than that, so about one-sixth that on the moon. But my kilograms would be the same on the moon because the, the mass does not change. So it's not 100% accurate to say that there, there's an equivalence there between pounds and kilograms. One is a weight, the other is a mass. But we're going to assume that all of our chemistry is done here on Earth, and so we're going to use these uh, as equivalences. Gallons to liters, 3.785 liters to one gallon. And if you're not intuitively familiar with how large a liter is, you can recall that there are two liter bottles of soda, so about half of that is a liter of liquid a gallon is 3.785 of those liters. There are a few other conversions that you need to be familiar with. One milliliter is a unit of volume, right? It's one one thousandth of a liter. It's approximately the volume that occupies, well, not approximately, it is exactly the volume that occupies a cube one centimeter on a side. So, one milliliter of volume equals one cubic centimeter of volume. And for those of you in the healthcare fields, you are probably familiar with hearing CC, 
as being a unit of volume, and that it comes from an abbreviation cubic centimeter. So one milliliter is the same as one cubic centimeter, is the same as one cc. And it's the volume that occupies one, a cube that is exactly one centimeter on a side. Okay, those are the basic SI units. You need to memorize these. Everything that's here, you need to memorize this. This will not be provided for you on quizzes. You need to know them. You need to know the base units, the conversions to imperial. You need to know that equivalence there. I want to take a quick moment and point out there's a little bit of a quirk here in the base unit for mass. Notice that it has the kilo prefix here. The base unit for mass is not the gram, it is the kilogram. The K is a lowercase k, but L for liter is capitalized.